Hey guys, what's up? It's Rob J here, and welcome to the next tutorial in a series of video tutorials on how to make a demod. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to edit. Let me just close all this. Um, editing start.c in your story folder. That's the default script that comes with any new demod you make. Uh, also, main start1, start2, and start4 are default scripts. Now I've already explained main.c in a previous tutorial um, when we declared global variables and we removed the useless needed variables out of here. Uh, that's really all you can use main.c for. There are some other advanced stuff you can do later on uh, for like load game checks and all that but for now that's out of the scope of these basic tutorials. So, we're going to be sticking st to start.c for this tutorial. I'm going to be explaining stuff in here, showing you how you can edit it and all that, to make your demo to start sort of differently, I guess. Okay, one thing is, uh, it's one thing I'm not going to be showing here is how to keep uh, Dink as a cursor rather than switching him to, uh, like, a non-cursor. Uh, I do know how to do that, but I'm not going to show it in these basic tutorials because that's not something you need to make a basic demo. I'll be showing that in a special installment tutorial later on. Okay, so first of all, what you'll notice is uh, we've got the main procedure here, which is obviously going to be run when uh, straight away when the sprite when the screen loads, which is what they want because you know we're not actually interacting with this at all. Okay, so you've got the list of uh, load sounds here. I already explained what they do in the custom sounds tutorial. If you didn't watch that, then go back and watch it. We even loaded our own custom sound down here. But they basically load all the sounds into different sound numbers. Here they've got a place, you'll notice it's a place sound line here, but it's commented out. So uh, that's not going to happen, that's not even going to run because, as you know, it's read as a comment and it's completely skipped over. It's not taken into account. So if we were to uncomment that out, then it would play the sound number 36, which is sword one. But we don't need to. So we can actually, you can even go ahead and just delete that if you want to, because it's not even needed. Okay, so they've declared a local variable uh, and crap. Fill screen 255. This basically, this command here fills the screen as it says with this color number and um, 255 is white now the reason you don't see a fill screen with white is because the title graphic is actually placed over it uh, I guess this is just for if there wasn't a title graphic the screen would come up white if you go back to your OOTR folder and go into graphics you notice there's a graphic here called title 01 and that is what's loaded in front of the white screen that's why you don't see the white screen and if you want to edit your uh, title as well, you can do that here. So, for instance, if you edit this title 01, because you'll notice every time we've gone into the demo, this is what comes up for the title screen and all the buttons appear down here. We can edit the your title goes here. And I'll just quickly briefly do that to show you. So we'll go dink simord in... Just go, whoops, white, sorry about that. That would have been loud. Orbs of the... Realm and yes, yeah, so that's quite too big, but you sort of get the picture here. Whoops, what am I doing? So that, like that, that'll be the title screen now. And if you save that and sort of uh play your D mod, uh, I'll just open Windy and get a plus to play it. I'm going to go to OOTR. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's play Demod. Notice that's the title screen now. So that's how you also modify the title screen, just by editing that one graphic. Um, screen lock zero, so basically it unlocks the screen if the screen is locked. Uh, you, you should know what screen screen lock means it's when 
like if you walk into a, a screen full of enemies and it's a screen lock you can't leave the screen until you kill all the enemies so if you go screen lock one that will lock the screen screen lock zero will unlock it um, and basically this is this stuff here I'm not going to get into too much just skip over that for now this basically sets dink to a mouse pointer so that's what makes the cursor rather than having actual dink there where you control him with the arrows although you can control the cursor with the arrows if you need to this one here I also explained in the in the needed globals tutorial but if you really want to know what any of these are um, you can just look at the create sprite line look at the sequence number so for this it's 453 open up your dmod open up windy get a plus open the sprite sequences page and find that sequence so 453 is here you open it up you see this is a sprite that it's creating so you know it's creating the title so yeah that's that's what creates the 640 by 480 title screen uh, now this is actually commented so that's helpful that tells you that this is creating the start button uh, this here is creating the continue button and this is creating the quit button so uh, you can actually edit these ones as well quite simply by opening your folder and editing the appropriate buttons so you, uh, start continue and I guess cancel will be the quit button so if you edit them that'll change the appearance of all those and basically no clip uh, well that makes them appear uh, on top of everything uh, like it can appear on top of the actual status bar you'll notice if you create a sprite on a screen if you move a sprite on a screen lower than or greater than uh, Y400 so for instance let me show you Y400 is right at the bottom of the screen if you remove a sprite greater than that it'll just move off the screen but if no clip is set to 1 it'll actually move on top of the status bar which is where all the uh, stats and all that are displayed as you know so that's what no clip does um, so yeah, that's basically that. Um, also, this commented line here, play MIDI, you know what that does, because I've made the MIDI tutorial. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. Um, so this is going to play a MIDI for you straight away after it creates all these buttons in the title. So that is your title screen MIDI. So uncomment that. Put your title MIDI there. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's grab another MIDI file I'll just steal one out of my don't know what it's going to sound like because I don't know what one it is chuck it in sound so it's oh, what's going on here there we go, 3 dot mid so I want play MIDI 3 dot mid and that's going to be our title MIDI now so we save that play the D mod. It's going to be loud really too, so let me just go ahead and turn it down. You can hear that. There we go. So that's that's actually playing title MIDI. So that is start dot C. That's I know I went really fast, but um, and basically at the end, kill this task. You know what that does it will kill this entire script and this it won't exist anymore obviously so yeah that is start.c I know I went quite fast but obviously uh, most of the stuff in this has been explained in other tutorials I just wanted to go over it make sure you know it's safe for you to tinker with this edit it if really you're not going to break anything and if you do then just make a backup before you muck around with it you won't seriously break anything and then you've got your back up there even if you do and that's what it's all about just experimentation and all that so yeah go ahead and tinker with that
and I'll see you in my next tutorial.